you know, I've had the great pleasure of meeting Michael, and we're we're we're, we're happy for him because he's in Bulgaria. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we were going to Skype him in. It's such a different time zone. It's like seven o'clock in the morning there. The internet is really uh, intermittent. It was really stressful for him, and I didn't think that was fair to him. You you graced us with your presence, and we'd love to hear stories from the set. I know there are great ones, so go ahead. Well. <laughs> First of all, Michael did mention how much he wanted to be here because he said he shot much of the film in, in and around here. Mm -hmm. And um, and he's from the Bay Area, right? I, was he raised in the Bay Area? Michael. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Berkeley. Yeah. Berkeley. Okay. That's the bummer. Um, and it was shot in what, just 11 days, I hear? I thought 10. <laughs> okay, it was 10. Unbelievable. Yeah, 10. Um, <laughs> I met Michael with another person about four years ago. We had lunch, and we had a long talk and so on, and he said to me something like, uh, I'm working on something, and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll call you. So, um, he called about a year and a half later on a Wednesday, asking me if I would um, consider playing three parts, or three days in a part of the film. And I said, well, he says, there isn't much money and all that. I said, well, let me read the script. I read the script by Wednesday night, I think it was, and I called him and said, I'll be there. Uh, I really, truly, um, I'm, I've been acting for 55, 56 years. Um, and uh, I, I, I don't think I'm getting just older. I think I'm getting a little wiser about what, what really matters. In a movie like this, with with real feelings and real a real certainty about what's really going on with this with this matter of uh, of autism, um, is something that's very very touching. And it was so human. This mm. particular film displayed autism in right. a humanitarian sense, as, as we are all people. Yeah. It's, it, he, it, and he displayed it as such that it's not a disability for him, it's just how he sees the world. And, and Michael is nothing like that in person. He speaks and acts just yeah. as, as we oh, are yeah. here, and he's oh, a magnificent yeah. human being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. And how was it working? I, was that a family member's home that you were at, up, and it's north of here? Was that a family member's home, the location yeah. that you were at? Yeah, yeah it was quite, quite well, lovely. Well, it wasn't a family member, but she's like a family member. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was, how do I say it? I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, yes, yes you did. <laughs> you I couldn't have no done idea. it any Michael better. calls me and says, do you want to do this? And I say, sure, Mike, I'll do what you, you know, whatever. And uh, this, the camera got a, a flaw in it, and we were, had a day yeah. off, do you remember? Yeah. And everybody went out in the woods and played, and... Uh, then the script changed because there was some change. They had just had to make up for different times, and so it was kind of going along almost as though um, it was just the way our lives went. You know, <laughs> even making the film was kind of that way, trusting and playing it by ear. Whatever that was, that's the way we it did it. It was beautiful. It unfolded as if we were witnessing just, you know, sitting Everything and watching. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I did. Seamlessly. When I saw it in its entirety, it, it's about redemption. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about for very, for all those different people. And you can see the love. You can see the love on the screen. You can, you know, feel the love here. Um, it sounds like it was a very grueling process in, in 10 days, but also a very rewarding process. Well, I had three only. Um, how many days did you work up there with, with Michael and Tim Thomason? How many days was that? It's eternally <laughs> <laughs> Michael? Yeah. yeah, but you and, and Tim Thomason were like suddenly a new uh, rocket that came out of the, of the story, you know? The, and and that and that Michael came up there never saying anything to find his mother or expecting to see his mother, but he knew what he was, what he meant by that. But he just didn't tell anybody. <laughs> and that too is something that was like so touching. Uh, and what is and 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 so 
relatable to what he is going through or has gone through as a character. We don't know what he was like as a child exactly, but but that he lived something like that with a mother who wasn't there. Uh, these are the things that mean something to me in the in the film. Um, I, I even had one moment in the film when, when I was shaking him when he was boxing and I was saying, listen to me, look at me, look at me in the eyes, look at, look at me. And he looked up and he said, well, what do you want? I said, I forgot. <laughs> but it meant, it really meant something like what it was about forgetting the problem of what he was going through. It's that way I see it. Um, and um, so I, this is one of the, I've done, as I said, 50 something films. But I think this is one of the most touching and genuine and um, glad films that I've been in. Yeah. Uh, from my understanding, this is the first showing in the Bay Area. Mm. And um, Michael is so proud of this area. I saw him, oh, at AIFF. And I also saw him at the Feeling Good Film Festival, and he's so humble, and he's so kind. Um, so, s when was that shot? How long ago was it? Six, he was three, uh, four years. About three years at least. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And do you have? Do you remember what it was shot on? I can't remember what he said. What do you mean? What he uh, shot like on? Like a Panasonic digital yeah, HD. He, oh, yeah, he had a, a very good setup and camera and lights and stuff, especially the stuff that I worked in, which was a, a hot gym in Burbank, you know? I mean, it was on Sunday, and it was really hot. And uh, we just managed uh, and very long days. And, uh, I, you know, I just started out on a Friday, and um, by the middle of the film, I was feeling like I was part of it immediately, you know. So. Yeah, it, it, it was seamless, and the relationships were quite natural and quite beautiful, and that's yeah. a testament to, to the skills. The, 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 skill, the, the skills of the, the screenwriting, the skills of the direction, and his own skills as an actor is really great. Do you have, uh, what is he doing in Bulgaria? Do you know, I think he's the lead actor in something? I hope so. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to talk to him. <laughs> We're on a, such a different time. His time mother. Yeah, she's here. <laughs> Is mom's here? Yes. Oh, can can mom stand up? Where's mom? Hi, mom. Thank you so much. She sends our love to mom. She appears in the film. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Well, let's open it up to questions from the audience because I'm I'm sure there are some out there. I have one. I'll get the ball rolling. Okay, you can start for us. Thanks. The water balloon at the farm, was that one take when you threw the water balloon there? <laughs> was that, uh, it hit the fell in the back of the head? I don't I wasn't there. <laughs> was it, there was a water balloon that you threw at somebody's head. Was that you or was that a stunt double? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's like one thing about being a grandmother, especially as somebody as grown up as Michael is, I have five great grandchildren. So uh, there, it's like trying to figure out what's coming next. You just don't know. You just flow with it. I don't. You should and be. You forget things. I don't remember where. Water balloon. Where was the water balloon? Well, no one was injured in the throwing of the water balloon. <laughs> it was a good shot. <laughs> At least that we know of. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. When I threw it out of the barn. Yeah. Well, no, it, yes, it was a water balloon. No, nobody was injured. No, was it one shot, though? Was it I don't know how I managed to. I don't think I hit him. I think somebody from the ground threw it and hit him. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. It was up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I, I'm still moved by the film. It was very moving. And thank you both and everybody that made this film. It's a tremendous film. It's just great. The, the part that I wanted to ask you about, about the boxing part, the sort of the, the whole idea of the fight and how and how he was in a fight. I mean, there was there was a it was a fight for life. It was a, it was an incredible metaphor. But 
where did you find your inspiration uh, and where did you where did you touch how did you get into the boxing part of that about being in that gym was that something that was well, was that something that was familiar for you from your past or you mean as my, myself yeah, or, yeah, or as, yeah. as, a character? As, as a character as a character I, I was somebody who once was uh, you know a, a, a pug who fought for fifty dollars uh, a time or something like that you know never made uh, any great uh, strides of being a great boxer but he had a gym and he fell uh, in some so so kind of a love with this young man that he saw had such qualities and things like that, and that he was wanting to help him. You know, does that answer your question? Yeah, I just I just wondered if there was anything in the past in your past that sort of spoke to that whole that whole environment of the boxing game. I used to, I still watch boxing stuff, and now there's the uh, United for whatever it's called, the Ultimate Fighting thing. I watch that once in a while. I had um, some years of, of uh, different kinds of uh, working out, like uh, you know, a little judo and uh, and um, karate and things like that. Um, and uh, but that doesn't play in the film at all. In none of the film it did. Yes. Um, just referring to the line uh, when you're looking into his eyes, yeah. you say, I forget. Was that in the script or was No, okay. not at all. all right. yeah, I'm telling you, it was something that built up in me mm -hmm. at the moment. I kept saying, look at me, just look at me, look at that. And he looked up and he said, what, what is it? And I swear, I just thought, said to me, said, I forgot, I don't know. That meaning somehow, I don't know how to explain that. But, but it was a choice on my part at the last minute. And I think he liked it very much, too. Uh, well, apparently Michael. so. He, he kept it in the film. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was nice that you got to improv and you all rolled Oh, we did. It. Yeah, we did quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Like, for example, I did get myself involved with uh, telling him, like, hey, <laughs> go, go go with her, you know. Remember the gym? When, and, and he's looking at me and he's going, oh, go, go. <laughs> You know, that was not in the script, but it was it was an opportunity that fit the film, you know, and fit the characterization that I had with him. So we did a little bit of improvising with left and right in the three days that I did. Now, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I remember one of the talks that he had that there really wasn't time for rehearsals, correct? It was just kind of on the fly, or did you get a chance to do rehearsals? Well, I, I was prepared as much as I could be, and I, I, I again... There was some improv improvisation going on in a scene. Uh, I would say something. I saw something that I could say that made the character I played a more, more himself, more, more what he was supposed to be. Yeah, it clearly uh, showed. It was quite beautiful. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. That's what an actor's supposed to do. <laughs> yes. Were you guys, was Michael actually fighting that guy? Hmm? Was he really fighting? Yeah, as a matter of fact, he uh, wound up having a rib broken uh, during that fight. Yeah. Uh, that other guy was about oh, 35, 40 pounds heavier than he was, and about uh, quite taller and so on and so forth. Um, and at the end of it, uh, I, I found out that Michael had had uh, a rib broken. Yeah. I mean, they really went at it. They were punching, of course. With the with the uh, headgear and so on, and and throwing blows, you know, that was swift, but the intent was not th th to pun punish or penetrate somebody. It just happened when somebody when Michael came a little closer, the guy came too close, and boom, he broke his rib. I just want you to know that she's ten years old and she stars in one of the shorts that was in the festival. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, would you stand up so he can see you're kind of hiding behind the arch? Oh, yeah. Okay. We've had dogs. Thank you. Thank you. All, all ages, all ethnicities, and even dogs in our in our film, so we're quite happy. Um, anybody else? I did see some hands up. Uh, thank yeah. you. The lovely lady. The photography was fabulous. And uh, in watching the boxing scenes for the fourth time, it just it, it's more exciting every time. So that's Gloria saying yes. that she thought the, the, the cinematography was absolutely outstanding. And then... Yeah, unfortunately. 
the guy who was the cinematographer in that film, he did another film um, that we worked on together, a TV show. But this guy um, died about three, four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. a young man at 38 or 9, uh, uh, with a child. Uh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to mention it even, but uh, it's, it just happened to have, what happened to the friend. His name. Oh, gosh, why well, can't I remember it offhand right now? They yeah. were so sweet together. Neil Lisk. Yeah. Exactly. And there's a beautiful, in the Grizzly Peak blog, there's a beautiful tribute to him by Michael. Uh huh. In yeah. the Grizzly Peak and blog. Grizzly Peak film. Yeah. Well, thank you. We yeah. are we're sorry to hear about that passing. Mm. Well, in the process, no matter what went wrong, Michael never lost it. Never lost mm. it the, about the mm. camera, mm. never lost it, never mm. put anybody on edge. Mm. Uh, and yeah, he does have a very um, equanimity about him, a very yeah. peacefulness. Yes, yeah. he really does. Way all of his life. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, yes, the, the, the gentleman with the hat. The theme of remembrance is very much part of the whole film. And Lois, you when you yeah, refer to that. when you refer to uh, God's ears, you yeah. are recalling something very powerful. And John. When you you are you break down in tears and you are are dealing with the remembrance of that photo of yeah. the woman who jumps yeah. out at you, yeah. it's yeah. a theme that is hardly developed, but it's very powerful in the moment. Yeah, I, I agree with you. There's connections there about something lost, whatever it might be, you know, uh, and with people with aut autism, I think my opinion, and I, this is something I'm searching around and, and, and have been reading about and so on for quite a few years even before the film even before I, when I read it that part about the autism was uh, something that brought me to it as well but it, 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 it with autism to me seems to be an infant that has lost contact with with its primary source of need the mother and what happens if that doesn't work very well. Um, I don't know if you guys want to listen to my thoughts about this. Not everybody would agree with me. Lately, or a few years ago, there was the idea that it was uh, vaccinations that were given that was causing aut autism. Then they dropped that idea, whoever it was, the, the, the medical association. Um, but what remained to me was <clears throat> Some, there's an article in the um, Atlantic magazine about April uh, this year, and it's a woman who, who wrote it. And she wrote it precisely with the idea that she was a, a working woman, and why should she have to waste time nursing a baby when you could give it a bottle? And to me, that seems to me to be, I thought the, the article was to suggest just the opposite it, um, what it was, than what she was talking about. In 1980, something like this, there were hardly any autistic persons around. Now, the statistics are immense. There are thousands of people be, and, and with problems of autism. What is the difference between what happened then? One thing was, in the 80s, there was something that happened that was too a couple usually needed to work husband and wife and they worked to make a lot of money and to have a, 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 a someone take all, uh, the, take care of the, the, the child uh, these are the things I think that really involve what is autism make your own choice thank you for that thank you for mm. sharing I saw way up in the back Okay, yes. Um, uh, this is a question for both of you uh, about just, you've both been acting for quite some time, uh, if you'll forgive the uh, phrase, and I'm wondering what is it about acting that still draws you? That uh, can, can I share that with Lois? Because I have certainly. to, it's hard for her to hear from back here. So Lois, um, the gentleman wants to know what still draws you to acting, and then once you respond, we're going to hand it over. Is that is that what it was? Yes. Okay, thank you. What still draws you to acting? 
What's st what still motivates you to act? <laughs> well, I. <laughs> why not? <laughs> because yeah, you can. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I will tell you something that happened to me. I've never acted in anything before. Okay, so this was your first, first time. Yeah, no, yeah, the first time. Um, Did you believe that? I'm so and, yeah, I'm that, yeah, that was wow. fantastic. So, so, <laughs> and, so and, that's why you were stumped. And I know that Michael, you know, whatever Michael was thinking when he wrote the part, he was thinking me. So I didn't have to even know it. The line, I had to know a little bit about the Oh, thank story. God she didn't take acting lessons. That's all I can say. <laughs> it was very natural. Thank you. But there was something lovely that happened to me. At the very end of the part that I was in, when he drove away, I... I just turned around crying. And we had to shoot that four times. And four times I turned around crying. And I realized that what actors are doing, they are actors become the part. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I didn't know that before. And yeah. somehow I just became that. You know, yeah. it was a, a surprise. So you will act again then, when the opportunity arises. You will do this again in a different if role. Michael, yes. If, okay. uh, if I feel like I can, I, I don't know. You know, it had, I'm limited in some ways. I, one of my ears, one of my age. I, I'm, yes, sure, I do it. Again. That's wonderful. <laughs> Get back on that horse. <laughs> and John, how about you? What motivates you? Well, uh, doing a movie like this has motivated me a great deal because it, I think it's touched in me things that I think I'm trying to, uh, that I'm writing about myself. In other words, learning more about myself and learning, and learning where I came from and what, what, was, what brought me to this place and that other place, my parents, my grandparents and all this kind of stuff. Um, slowly begins to kind of get get together in like a kind of a, a, a you know a, some some kind of a tightened uh, prospect of what you mean what you mean to yourself sounds uh, fancy but it's not it sounds fantastic yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's great it, it's it is really and and it is somehow what I remember why why that question you asked me about what did I ask him uh, uh, because it was something that came over me for a moment, and I said, I forgot. <laughs> and it sounded, it, he liked it so much too. It wasn't meant to be there, but, but it came out of me by something inside me that I, I forgot. And I was trying to use it and, and, and simply did it. It's the kind of thing that I think that actors, uh, uh, I don't know, could deepen as they get older, perhaps and they can bring in things that they understand better than they used to, even when they were, you know, smarter, young, and, and so oh, on. Oh, yeah. John, when you were young, you were still, I can remember the first time I ever saw you in a movie. You were young, black hair. Oh. <laughs> oh, I remember him with black hair, and when he was young, and look at her, she's blushing. <laughs> she still is. <laughs> <laughs> <You are sorry. laughs> I did have black hair. <laughs> So. Okay, so I think we have one last question from the audience, and then we're going to the awards section, and I promise you, we're going to do our category winners, come on up, say hi, thank you, and we'll go through them, and then we'll have a little soiree after at room 705, which has a double wraparound balcony, beautiful view of the skyline, and there's food and drink at 705 at Hotel Kabuki. Yes, you are our last question. Oh, great. <laughs> this is for you, Lois. This is for Lois. Honest speaking, I'm sorry, I'm just going to repeat if that's okay. When Michael and, I can't remember her name. So when Michael and, what's her name? I'm doing this <laughs> with a sense of humor, thank you. Thank you, um, Brandy. Nervous. We're doing that incredible scene with the tennis ball. The tennis ball scene? Do you remember, I'm sorry, do you remember the tennis ball scene? At my house? What? At her house, at Anna's house. Anna? Yeah. Uh, at, yes. at Anna's house. Yeah. And you and Cassie and I were 
were sitting on a love seat. Kathy, yourself, and Anna were on a love seat. About five feet away from where Michael and she were doing the scene. Where Michael and that woman were doing the scene. Was the woman the, the blonde haired, the, the love interest? No, no, no Mr. Psychologist. I'm sorry? Psychologist. Oh, the psychologist the scene. Thank you. The psychologist scene. Okay. Um, So when Michael looked at you in your eyes and said, Mom, I can't handle you being this close to me. When I'm focused so intently. When I'm focused so intently. Would you mind moving out of my vision? Oh, would you mind moving out of my vision? And you said, of course. And you said, of, of course. And you grabbed us both. And, and you grabbed the ladies and you made them leave the room. The and you threw her in the kitchen. Was that that you wanted to tell her what a wonderful I just moment that? To remind or mention to everybody the incredible love that was flying back and forth between. Us. So so energetically, she she wants to. I just may ad lib a little yeah. bit. Say thank you for for being able to experience the love, to share with us that she experienced the love, and how much you love by just whatever Michael needed it. It's okay. Yeah. We're going to do that. Okay, right. <laughs> well, thank you. Of course, uh, it was handed to me from the beginning from two really fine people that were my mother and father. So it was easy. It's easy to, I don't know. Well, it's easy because Michael's who he is, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. you do. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. We're just going to have to have Michael make another film. You You're going to have to be in it. And we're just going to have to plan it when he's not shooting something else. How's that? Oh, oh, How's that for a challenge? Oh, oh he's, he's a fine. Person. And you know, seriously, San Francisco has been absolutely fabulously fantastic. So I know that they will open their arms to him, help with the production in any way, shape, or form. And if not, I'll just email all the 40 high execs that were here and say, you need to help this man. Great. Mm -hmm. So let me know when that happens. And possibly it's the, the, the work that you're writing right now. You said you were writing a script, yes, correct? Yes, right. Do you want to share with what that's about? Um, you don't have to. <laughs> Is that intellectual property? Yeah. You know, you know, I'm not a smart man. Smart man. All right, well, let's, let's give a round of applause to these great, great, great people.